Welcome to Deep Tech, a finger on the innovation pulse. Today, we're going to be perusing perovskites. Perovskite and perovskite tandem cells are quickly becoming an efficient alternative to traditional solar cell technologies. The future looks bright, but where is the innovation coming from and is all that meets the eye? China is, without a doubt, the leader in global solar energy. Beginning in the late 2000s, the government invested heavily in solar as part of an effort to reduce dependence on foreign energy. By the end of 2021, China accounted for 36.1% of global solar photovoltaic capacity, with the United States trading second, although not closely, with 11.2%. And this isn't slowing, with China planning to add 90 gigawatts of solar power year over year until 2025. China's dominance in the photovoltaic pattern ecosystem is easily explained by analyzing compounding governmental incentives. Through the combination of incentivized patent filing, alongside the large initiatives around the support of renewable energy by the government, uh, capital barriers related to the research and development of solar technology in China are less extensive than elsewhere. However, patent filing trends only tell a fraction of the story. Governmental incentives often paint a false picture of innovations, especially when we analyze patent filing trends in a vacuum. While China is the leader in both patent filings and solar capacity, this chart would seem to indicate that it isn't the home of influential expertise and development. To understand this discrepancy, let's analyze the academic and corporate entities leading the way. As this graph illustrates, Fujifilm is the leader in this space. Interestingly, there isn't a single Chinese company in the top 10, even though they dominate in patent filing volume. This phenomenon ties back to the false picture of innovation we alluded to previously. Patent filing trends alone do not take any account of the quality of those patents. By overlaying patent key performance indicators such as patent valuation and citations, we begin to unravel this mystery. Namely, that amassing the most patents in a sector doesn't automatically mean that a jurisdiction uh, will reign as the global leader in innovation. Historically, development in the perovskite industry has been led by Japanese multinationals such as Sekisui and Fujifilm. In recent years, however, these companies have chosen to shift their focus away from perovskite solar technology in favor of exploring the structure's use in battery tech. Increasingly, however, we do see patent filings being led by a new entrant to the industry, Huaneng New Energy Co., a Chinese company. This organization doesn't yet appear in the top 10 analyses explored earlier because it has yet to reach innovation maturity. Citations, and to an extent patent valuation, are lagging indicators. Patent applications are subject to pendency periods that, during this time, make them unavailable to the public. This, compounded with the time required for these inventions to prove their usefulness, often means that older patents are overvalued from an analysis point of view due to their maturity and the amount of available data around them versus that of more recent patents. Rather than reinventing the wheel, innovation within uh, patents typically centers on incremental improvements to existing technologies. As a result, when analyzing individual patents, a statement of innovativeness around said patent is not easy to make. And this just highlights how important it is to take a holistic innovation intelligence-based approach when analyzing your competitors. As, like we have seen today with the perovskite industry, relying on a single data point might mean that you miss the bigger picture.